<sighs> All right, folks, we are live. Here is your faithful and loyal samurai host, the Ray Dog. I am joined by the fabulous Roran Lauren, That's aka me. my wife. And uh, we are going to be showing off our round one game. And let's see, you won the first player flip here. I did. I did. Uh, so, do you remember if you were playing Charge or Rebuild when you put this list together? So now you've been flip-flopping. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. It might be a fun adventure for both of us to find out. <laughs> I recently switched to Crab because I figured that fit with my long, drawn-out, nobody-has-fun play style a lot better than Unicorn or my previous clan, Scorpion. So uh, I'm enjoying Crab. Well, Scorpion used to be really good at it before they got hammered by the nerf bat. Yeah, yeah. I think the fact that I was going to time playing Unicorn indicated there was uh, an issue. <laughs> a mismatch, if you will. Yeah, it's a weird game if Unicorn goes to time. Yeah, so... Uh, so you get a great flip here. Crisis Breaker, uh, Karata, and Imperial Palace. Pretty sick. It's true. I'm it's lamenting true. it in the chat as we speak. Um, I feel pretty nice seeing Mystics early on against Crab because there's not enough Lekos in the world for all the crap that you're playing as attachments. I still can't get on board with... Uh... Oh, I should slap you each time you make a mistake. Probably. Uh, so I throw in a, a Embrace the Void on a Dreamer. This is kind of a thing I do. Uh, oh, I did you come up with this? I don't know if I came up with this. Probably didn't. But the point is, throwing some extra fate on a Dreamer and not caring, really, if he gets assassinated is pretty nice. I think I told you to do this when I was trying a Phoenix Splash. We could have. Mm. Uh, so... So I'm gonna declare a conflict. Right. I put Dreamer on the Earth Ring, and, um... I don't give a fuck! Looks like you're swinging for the this? Earth Ring. Yeah, we can swear on this. Fuck. <laughs> it's great. Have you heard the NEL5R podcast? I've heard of them. Yeah. Swearing is allowed on the internet. They're if, sassy characters. If their podcast is anything to go by. Alright, I'm coming in at Man Garden. Not too scary. Uh, so I block, because I don't want to waste those stats, and I throw a katana down. Now, it's a little worse if I get assassinated, but, you know, you gotta take chances. I'm not sure... You don't respond to this, so I will get the Earth Ring. Disclaimer here, this was like... I decided to play a league game when there was a ton of, like, family shit going on and I hadn't <laughs> slept in a week, so... <laughs> okay. Really, he shouldn't have even taken me up on this challenge. I shouldn't have accepted the challenge right, you said, that no, no, you no. gave to me. No, no, no. You're too tired. Okay. Yeah. Already um, so I poke back with uh, the Mystic and I throw in a Ningyo for free because Ningyos are great. Because fish boys. And what do I do? Uh, you pass, and then I soup storm to uh -huh. try and go for a break here. And then do I say no way? Uh, you're thinking about it. I am. Maybe I fell asleep. <laughs> I don't think you <laughs> fell asleep. Uh, Talisman oh, okay. of the Sun. All right. And I smash the let go button as fast as I possibly can in response. And I... Do I play another? Oh, no, I just take your Embrace the Void. You steal my Embrace the Void, which is a good way to use Karata District before it goes away, right? Because do I assassinate you? Mm. No. Nope, but you do get some use out of Karata. Um, unbow with the Water Ring here. Nice thing is I'm getting a little double value out of that Katana because I swing pole first with the water, hoping to come in military with the uh, the Dreamer. Are you fancy? I you know. Fancy. Pretty fancy. Okay, so you're coming in Midnight Revels, which, Trash Province, I've gotten rid of it. <laughs> trash Province. Yeah. Uh, unreliable I mean, Province, I think would be a good way to put it. It doesn't work well with Crab. Hot takes. 
Uh, that could be true. It's a water province. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm it's trying a, to think of what else you would put in that spot. I have the um uh uh flooded wasteland. Flooded no, waste. No. Yeah. Flooded waste. That's a card. Yeah, I have that under my stronghold now. Because it's like the oh shit you need when you need it the most. Uh, so we get the void on Crisis Breaker. Which, like, no big deal. I mean... What's he gonna do, go away? The no, he's not. The void ring is almost nothing versus crab. It's true. Nothing versus crab. Almost nothing, I said. Almost. Crab OP. No, they're just good at keeping their character. Well, they are kind of really good right now, but they're great at keeping their characters in play. Ian wants to know what my stronghold does. My stronghold. Do you mean flooded waste or the stronghold she has in this oh, game? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, it took me um, like a month of playing crab until I remembered that my stronghold did things. Um, I'm not used to having like a super great stronghold that is like relevant in conflicts. Um, but yes. Yeah. I it took it took Lauren a while to remember, and I have this problem too. Whenever I switch clans, I forget that they they have a stronghold. Yeah. It's a weird thing that happens when I play a different clan. So I imagine it's the same for you. And on Jigoku, there's no magic button that lights up, so you know. <laughs> it doesn't remind you can't, that you have a stronghold. Right. To can't use. hack my way through that. <laughs> All right. What's going on here? What are we doing? Uh, we're at the top of the round. Yeah. I am trying to figure out what ring to put my dreamer on. I go fire. Why? Uh, probably because I want to honor Ugina and I'm swinging first. Um, honored Ugina is always nice, you know? Okay. Uh, he's a 4-6. Can't complain about that. Uh, I play against the waves to bow steadfast wish hunter. It's like the most annoying, obvious thing that Phoenix can do to enemy Shugenjas. Um, Too bad I don't have a card that could... Uh straighten me. Sure, but I know you don't want to sacrifice Crisis Breaker, so at least for now this is okay. Emily says, are you narrating a game you played in the past? Yes. That so is true. We've been participating in an online league through New England L5R. Nell 5 r if you will. Nobody calls it Nell 5 r What? Everyone fucking calls it that. Okay. We're gonna take a poll. Okay. Anyway, Nell 5 r um, so we were actually paired against each other in a game, and Ray recorded it so we could commentate it later, because people enjoy that. It's like a, that's it's like a the, sport. That's how the internet works. Right. It's like when the Patriots play the sports ball, you know, they, they talk about it. And a great thing to talk about is how you played a watch commander, and then I just blew up my Maya Mystic. I think you were sort of baiting me into using it, because does uh, a, tet a Jade Tetsubo come out this round? I feel like, yeah. Jade Tetsubo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I felt very baited by this maneuver. Uh, and like, here, so here's the thing, right? You're Crab, and you're like, I'm going to put this very expensive attachment on this Crisis Breaker, because he's probably not going to actually go anywhere. Right. So my stuff doesn't go anywhere. Although, oh, let's top that on, mind. Yeah, so I Jade Tits... No, I didn't do it yet. Well, we're mid-conflict here. We're still on the Midnight Rebels. Oh, here we go, here we go. You want tangent about Midnight Rebels. Yeah, yeah, so... You'd love to see it. I get popped by Jade Tetsubo. It yeah. sucks. Bye, Gina. But wait, there's more, you say. Oh, yeah, look, I did say that. You did say that. What is the more? I don't... You think? Oh. <clears throat> no, I was trying to... What I was thinking in my mind here was I want to make it so he has to discard his Eugenia instead of one of my characters. I see. You were because, trying to force the discard on Eugenia. Because Eugenia's ability is when the Void Ring's claimed, you discard someone with no fate on them. But I'm just a fucking idiot. Is this... Do you play a good omen? I remember a good omen happening in one of these games. No. We're, cl we're clarifying it is still during the conflict, correct? <laughs> oh, you spreading the darkness, and then I can't murder him with Ugina. Right. Yeah. Right. Spreading the darkness, not just a bonsai, also prevents you from being targeted. Alright, so I'm still trying to figure out you getting rid of Crisis Breaker. 
Right, so you spread some darkness. A and I do, but then you go ahead. We'll, we'll see, we'll see, no spoilers. Well, I'm, I'm really trying to break this because now I really have to make this worthwhile after losing my shit. And I feel pretty confident about um, beating a crisis breaker in a political conflict. Over-investing, over-investing. Let's see. Don't break yeah. my shit. Throwing the Shrine Maid and finds a storm. Right, you throw on the Shrine Maid and then I'm less excited about getting rid of Ujina. Yeah, but... I mean, I you don't get to nuke him and he's going to stay standing because of clarity, but he's still effectively gone... It's just gone a little later because of the Jade Tetsubo. What's an SID? Uh, STD. He's spreading the darkness. Spreading the darkness are not oh. recommended for partners, you know? Ah. That's a joke, because it's STDs. You got it? Ah, this fucking guy. Listen, once you get crabs... Right. It's all downhill from there. This relationship now has crabs and STDs. It's going downhill fast. You heard it here first, folks. Um, uh. alright. So, you end up passing your conflict, because you don't have anybody standing. I don't got shit. And then I punch in military, and you just do the crisis breaker thing. Right, so as much as I don't remember what my stronghold does, Ray equally does not remember what if, Crisis Breaker if does. If Crisis Breaker is bad, I just assume he's going to stay that way, because I'm stupid. Um, you got to get your thinking more against the waves. It catches me every time. I am ready. I also have this weird mind melt versus jokes. crab, because I want to put Cloud the Mind on a character where it's going to have the most effect, right? And, like, I don't want to... If his character, I think, is going to go away at ah, the end of the round, sometimes I just omen, eat it. Good omen, good omen, good omen tech. There, there's the good omen tech. As I point out, that good omen tech. Yeah. So, okay, so this was when I was running charge and good omen, which... Uh -huh. Questionable choice. Are you running charge in this deck? Yeah, I was only running good omen once I was running charge. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I am a good omen. Um, so just want to point out this ethereal dreamer with two fate was like an MVP. I know. So did, I guess you just never found an assassinate so far. I did not. Okay. The run, the one I was running did not come up. And then I find a double coup dacker, double dackers and another dreamer. No one says that. I just said it. And then Kayu envoy on your side. Uh -huh. I play another dreamer. Right. And then third tower guard. Bring in lots of bodies. Yeah. I was really tired. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Bidding on a... I get a little more careful about my bid here. And then you end up going five. I get four from the library, so... Hmm. Uh, you're still way up on... You're four cards up on me, though. Thanks to the old uh, spy glasses. I, I there's you don't have any spy glasses now. Didn't you play one earlier? You had one on him first round, I, I think. I think you got rid of it. No. I didn't, I didn't have a bunch of my mystics, so I probably got rid of it. Yeah. That's interesting. You discarded two watch commanders already, so you should just slam five. I guess if you feel like you don't, you can't uh, honor pressure without watch commanders. Maybe at that point you just give up on the, the honor pressure. I don't know. Some wisdom from the powerful mech mage, Ian. No, he's talking about you. Uh, I mean, it goes either way. If two watch commanders yeah. are gone... You, Ray, yes. should slam five, he says. I, I see now, I see now. Yeah, I did slam five. Okay. Well, I know you did. <laughs> What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of getting dishonored. I'm scared. He's also afraid of spiders and heights. Okay. I mean, that those things are true. Spiders, heights, and getting dishonored. Uh, yeah. Top top three fears. Valid. Um, okay, my biggest fear is balloons. Anyway, so you, what are we doing here? You super overcommit to uh, smashing up holding authority. You send 12 guys, 12 force at it. I'm like, okay, uh, that can happen. God, I haven't slept in like a year and a half. Uh, charging Yakimo, and I censor the charge. Right, because if he was there since I was less honorable, he wouldn't have bowed. Right. So that would be some nice eye candy. Right. 
fuck if I know what I'm doing now. Oh, uh, you're just getting rid of stuff from your hand because I'm about to use upholding authority. Oh, I knew I had a purpose. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's see. We've got assassination, katana, skirmisher, tetsubo, two fans, talisman, mountain. This is a crab buffet. It's just one of each uh, of the greatest hits. Like talisman. Like I'm looking at my hand now, mm -hmm. and I just could have done so many things that I didn't do. Like what? At this point. I mean, you could, like... Let's see how much I actually use. The assassinate's pretty big for getting rid of one of the Ethereal Dreamers at some point. Yeah, I probably don't. So you get rid of Talisman. I don't know if that's the best choice at this point. Uh, well, I'm not sitting on any attachment removal. Mm -hmm. Um... I've already used at least one let go, maybe two, and basically I'm thinking I don't want to be forced to break five provinces. I'd rather get to your stronghold and not be moved away. I think I want to pick mountain does not fall. Yeah, but I also have lots of unbow tricks. Like your guys don't unbow, whatever. My guys never bow, so. Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to act like it's not good, but. It's something that I have more answers to than Talisman. Alright, swinging in double dreamers on the earth. One of them is, uh, pumped for earth. It's kind of silly that I'm sending my, uh, stacked double fine katana dreamer into political. I'm not exactly sure what I was thinking there. Maybe that was the one that you had earth on. Yeah. So you knew it'd be three strength. Hmm. I mean, I'm giving you a lot of credit here. I don't know. It certainly could be the case. <laughs> so you're up two. I just needed one more to break. I replace one of the katanas with a fan. I think what I'm thinking here, too, is I'm throwing the um, attachment on the guy without fate, so if you end up assassinating them, I've still got my fated guy hanging around. It makes sort of like a dilemma for you. It's like, do you want to get rid of the fated guy or the one with attachments? It's mind games. I don't know if that's what you were doing. That is what I was doing. I think you just made that up because you didn't know what you were doing. Okay. <laughs> sure. You were even thinking of this. You asked which one I was storming, and then you assassinated the one with fate. Real men bid less than five. That's right, Emery. <laughs> How much less than five? Just less. Oh. Just less than. Um, so... You bring in a Wayfinder... I end up throwing the other fan down, and we're still tied. You know, so what if you want wants to block the good omen? I will have you know <laughs> that good omen has been censured like numerous times. Has has it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, people are like, oh shit. That basically makes it a real card. If if a card gets counterspelled, that means it's a real card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. But Mountain. nothing got censored more than... What the hell was that crane card that I played that everyone thought was stupid? Uh, Curry Favor. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. A Fate Worse Than Death gets censored? Do you not think that's a real card? <laughs> I think you might be the only Scorpion player who holds this opinion about a Fate Worse Than Death. What's his opinion about a Fate Worse Than Death? But he and does, it's not a fate worse than death? He's not playing it, and he thinks it's just way too much blowout potential, I believe, from the last time we talked about it. Like, if it gets countered, you're just soaking for fate for nothing. Yeah, I, I guess now that makes it tough, before you could just counter the counter. 
And right. At that point, you have a kitchen. Well, and he's playing cute and Bayushi, so you can't. Um, you don't often have guys to dishonor for forged edict. Don't play cards that blow yourself out. Fair. Right. Right. So, yes. So, you're going water. I double block because I'm super terrified of you. I don't want you to unbow anybody. It's political, so I can keep um, Kudaka or Dreamer up. I guess Dreamer is like more powerful. I don't I don't play Clarity of Purpose. I probably should have. You know. I just passed my conflicts. Hmm. That feels like a mistake. That'll probably be fine. Notice, Crisis Breaker from turn one. Still here, going into turn four. This might, I'm, this might be a different Crisis Breaker, but I feel like it's the same one. Don't give him that much credit, Ian. Yeah, because you stole uh, Embrace the Void with the Karata on turn one, and I broke Karata turn one. Hmm. Denying Crisis Breaker value. Sick. You're right. I'm super angry. You see me shaking my mouse over Conjo District because I have favor and it flips on the one broken province that I have. Bad luck. So to express your anger, you shook your mouse over it? Yeah, I do that a lot. Okay. Is that like shaking your finger? Yeah, basically. It's in real life I would like Why you wanna... Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. I'm on board. Uh so I put out a Yojimbo I'll protect the boys, the Shugenja boys, and a scholar. And uh, I think they're girls. Well, it's, a, it's an expression. It's like girls can be boys. Like you could be my boy. It's 2019, Ray. Right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's 2019. You could be my boy. Just like all these Shugenjas are my boys. I'm not his boy. <sighs> I mean, I'm his boy, but not. <laughs> We've already told them we have crabs and STDs. Okay. Okay. Uh, I f I'm like, okay, I guess I'll put a cloud on this Crisis Breaker now that it's been here for four rounds. Makes sense. I'm not sure if I saw any other clouds. Um, Just look in the sky. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So... trying to think of what I should swing here and what I do swing here. I think going for the Earth Ring, I don't really need an extra fate right now. The only thing I have that I want to spend money on is like Display of Power. Um, maybe Tattooed Wander. So what are you going to go? I'm not sure. Let's let's find out. I bet you do air. I, uh, I'm thinking about that Tattooed Wander. Yeah. On Yojimbo. Living that covert life? Mm hmm. Where are you gonna go? Air would also be fine with Kudaka. Oh, the suspense. Ran. Void? Uh, I go void. Why do you do that? I think I'm mostly just trying to deny it from you because I don't want to lose Kudaka. And then I covert out the, um, the freaking bonker, the Jade Tetsubo. So that you can't bonk all my fate off. Right. I like doing that. Right. That's also why I'm going political if I'm giving myself enough credit. Or it's a good thing that I went political because Crisis Breaker can ignore Covert if you go military and pop himself back in. Some represent him politically. Yes, we have Witch Hunter, Guardian, and the Wayfinder. With a fan. I bet I don't use my Guardian. Or my Stronghold. Let's uh, see. I bet I you don't use either. You meditate my Ojimbo. Sure. Sure. Ready? Let's see. Not gonna use either. Just gonna fucking flail like a fish on... 
Uh, use the guardian. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I won't use my nah. You can give your, give yourself a little credit. You remember you've got abilities. Thanks, Ray. Yeah. You've got abilities too. <laughs> I'm not gonna use my stronghold. We'll see. So soup storm on Kudaka takes me to ten. So when I played a unicorn, my games also went to time. Um. And I don't like slow play people. I mean, I might have some thoughtful moments, but um, I just really like to make it long, drawn out. Kind of like if you're just dragging someone through like broken glass. That's what I want my L5R <laughs> games to feel like. Uh, if it doesn't feel like that, why am I even showing up? You know, I could be napping. Crab does kind of feel that way. Yeah, I like it. You know, keeps you keeps you alive. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I conjo out the Witch Hunter, and that will... you pass. So it looks like that solidifies me the break. If you're taking games to Unicorn, you're slow playing. I think he means if you're taking If you're taking games to time as yeah. Unicorn. Hmm. Well, not intentionally slow playing. Right, I'm not using the deck as it should be used. Uh, yeah. I fucking ran a deck that was called What is Dead May Never Die, because I was trying to keep shit alive for, like, unnecessarily long amount of times instead of just pumping. I was doing- I, I did Unicorn wrong. It's like Unicorn pretending to be crab, basically. Yeah. And, like, Unicorn walking like this is not... <laughs> it's fine. It's not gonna work. Um... So you start sacrificing stuff like your crab. You get your witch hunter back up, you get a card. Good stuff. I could have prevented the block by using my stronghold. Uh, probably, yes. You did not use your stronghold. No, uh, I was up six and you had two guys, so I'd still be at four. You were up six? Uh, I believe so. After you, yeah, it was ten to four, see? Okay. After I um, conjured a dude. Hmm. Uh, Emily, wow, thanks for following. You're a wonderful human being. It's really weird how you pronounce that. That's her Emily, see? Lee. L E I G H, you pronounce that Lee? Yeah. You wouldn't say Lay? Take the E M A off, that's someone's name. What's their name? All right, we're getting a little distracted here. Thank you, Emily, Emily224. <laughs> It's her birthday. Okay. Yeah. How do you know that? That's a little creepy. Emily. Shh. Oh. <laughs> I was saying to play a unicorn to avoid going to time. I would have calculated the probability. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We've we spent far too much time in chat calculating the probability of drawing a chags and a charge. It's some unreasonably high amount that feels busted. I had to switch to a new clan. Unicorn got really good. Speaking of really good, Fight On is a really good card. It's true. Every minute was worth. <laughs> <laughs> worth. It's like worth it. Like worse? No, the worth. Like worth it? Worth. Look, J-Ro, he, he's a little ununderstandable, okay? <laughs> okay, what's what, L5R? What's happening? I'm attacking your stronghold with Shibio Jimbo and his car. Because I want to win is oh. why I'm attacking your stronghold. You fight on, and you're putting up an 11 to my 4. So you handily defend the wall, as is the name of your province. Clan, yeah, crabs. The only clan that has an actual job. <laughs> Fair. And no one helps us out. Um, you are coming at me air. Why? Uh, well, maybe you're trying to put honor pressure on. I'm down to five. It's very tired. I'm going right. to have Yojimbo lose. That's going to be, that's another minus one. Very, very tired. And if I don't defend it, then that's another minus one. And I do lose one for not defending. You take one from me. This puts me down to two honor after Yojimbo leaves. That's not the worst thing in the world. Right, but I feel like I should just be... Trying to make sure I did I get favor? 
No, it was tied. Uh, correct. And since I had, like, sacrificed it, it just stays out of the game. So if I had done watering, I could have unbowed one of my guys to make sure I got favor. And if I had any keepers, although I don't even think, I don't think I saw keepers. And there's one now. There's, there's a keeper. Right, but the game's, like, done. Yeah. You're not running um, Satoshis. You can't really dig for them, right, in this deck? Right. This was a very experimental charge. It's not the right card to play. Uh, I don't think charge is necessarily wrong. Well, now I'm doing this cool thing where I have, like, one of each holding in my deck. Okay, And yeah. so I can just fucking rebuild. I have, like, right. a toolbox. Right, so you, like, toolbox it, yeah. 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 Like Bob the Builder. So you have the first attack here, and you're also on my stronghold. Uh, and you've got an active Kisada, and I have no clouds in my hand. Yeah, let's figure out why the hell I... Uh... No spoilers. <laughs> Doesn't go great, guys. <laughs> no, I... no, not in this deck. Right. In our in current the deck, new deck, I've she's learned, running rebuild. I've grown, I've... Yeah. I've crapped. Just, just had to, you know, contend with the Shadowlands of my mind. All the puns, right? Hmm. Shadow. Your references are out of control. It's not a pun. I wasn't making a pun. Oh. <laughs> Trying to figure it out. Uh, so I bow steadfast witch hunter again, just because, like, why not? Um, you bow the guy that can be bowed. Can be unbowed. Sure, but you have to sacrifice your skirmisher, and then you're not getting covert. Sure. I mean, you can unbow him afterwards but it takes strength away from this attack and if i if you break on this attack i just lose the game if you recall so um i feel like that's okay to bow him there so we're coming in right you covert kudaka you find Cory mori naturally i defend with just adept and if i need to i can favorable ground somebody mm -mm. See why this doesn't go better. Well, I'm gonna switch it to political. So I think I had been hoping you would just be like smashing the make it political button and have Casada cancel it. No, see, I knew that was gonna happen. Right. You no. have oh. Right. So I burned through it with Adept of the Waves ability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Adept of the Waves is the low key best counter to Casada. That's such a hip relevant thing you said. Loki, the kids say that. <laughs> right, kids? There's no kids watching this stream. Huh? Um, How do you know? I guess I don't know for sure. Um, so, I'm just flailing like a fish. <laughs> Well, we court games each other. We counter court games. Yeah, yeah. Throw in a Shrine Maiden. So, I, f I feel like as long as I... Basically, Cory Mori is what saves the, saves the day here. Right, but like I shouldn't have recklessly slammed my head into it. Like, oh, maybe, maybe he'll just do that part. Like, <laughs> it's good to be prepared for the fact that every phoenix is gonna have Cory Mori under their box. I know it's there. I have mm -hmm. slaved your cards before. Like, I, I know what you run. <laughs> um, it's really tough. So you steadfast wish hunter the skirmisher to stand back up. Yeah. I you just notice I angrily shake my mouse over cloud the mind because I'm like, why didn't I put a cloud the mind? Yes. Uh, to prevent the unbow. Good example of that angry shaking again. Yes. <laughs> so I stand Casada. Yep. You can stand any friendly character. What crabs do? They help each other up. So I've got two attacks here, and basically I believe I just pulled the classic favorable ground juke. I go in with both, you defend, and then I pull Kudaka out and then swing back. You hate to see it. I'm I feel like you I'm, don't do that. 
I'm pretty sure that's how this ends. Let's see. Because I'm going military because yeah. Modern's crack back. I want to have six with Kudaka. Right. I can't even break here if you didn't defend. Or uh, maybe I have a storm, actually. Right, you... So I could break if I have a storm in my discard, which I, I'm always annoyed that I can't check when I'm watching a video. I cloud Kisada. That's the thing you did. Uh, well, it keeps favorable ground from getting canceled. So yeah, pull out. I'm just like, ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I pull out Kudaka. Favorable ground, really good card. I think, yeah, you void Kudaka, but it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm trying to think if you have... I guess you have the only conflict character you have with poll numbers is um, Wayfinder. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I did already win it. Casada's a very confusing card. Ask um, Nick about it. It's very complicated to keep track of how it works. So yeah, okay, see, I attack back, I play the last storm and discard, and uh, I think that's all she wrote. There it is, boom. GG is called. Hmm. Game one goes to the Ray Dog. <sighs> um, all right, well, that was our first game. Uh, it's getting uh, a little bit late for Lauren, who has to wake up at four in the goddamn morning or something like that to go to work. He's going to play D&D. &D. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I also forgot that I was supposed to be playing D&D, &D, so I'm already an hour late for my session. But thanks for watching our game. Uh, and I'm going to be streaming more tomorrow night. Probably a couple more NEO5R games and then just playing some randoms on Jigoku. It's going to be a good time. Uh, You're right, I won't be there, so... Yeah, thanks for watching. 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10.